Greetings Marines, Bio here, and in this video we will be taking a closer and more in-depth look at the secondary weapons of Dark Descent. Secondary weapons are always carried by your Marines, and if you upgrade your Tekker's drone enough, the drone will be equipped with a submachine gun. In a previous vid I stated that the description on the drone kinda seems like you have to research the submachine gun for the drone to be able to equip it. I have it on good authority though that the drone will be carrying an SMG even if you have not researched the weapon, which makes the description of that ability a bit confusing. I am not here to talk about bugs, glitches and bug descriptions though, I am here to break down the three secondary armaments available in the game. We'll start with the service pistol, move on to the revolver and then to the submachine gun and explain the strengths and weaknesses and why in certain cases you might have to fall back on them. So what is the deal with this tree? Why would you ever use this instead of your main weapon? The reason is that these weapons have pretty much infinite ammo. If your primary runs out of ammo, you will be able to swap to this and defend yourself to some capacity. Now, of course, it is understandable that these weapons are not as effective as the primary ones. Think of something like Fireteam Elite's sidearm. Infinite ammo, but kind of a pea shooter. So starting with the service pistol, we have the epitome of fart in the wind, Boasting a damage profile of 1 up to 1 damage, that's pretty much 1 flat. Shoots 1 ammo per burst, burst duration is 0.5 seconds, ammo clip is 12 bullets, reload speed 1.5 seconds and dismemberment chance of 0.25. Something that has to be observed here is that this weapon being the starting weapon has pretty much every stat in the gutter. It's like the game wants you to at least invest some resources to get to at least the revolver. And the disparity between the service pistol and the revolver is huge. So word of advice, if you are going to use a secondary on your gunner, let's say, because you want to use the tripod for your smart gun, at least make sure you reach the point where you can use the revolver. Let's go to the revolver, and here is where things start to get interesting. Damage is 1 up to 3, ammo per burst is 1, burst duration is 0, 75 seconds, it holds 6 ammo in the clip, reload duration of 1.5 and dismemberment chance of 0. 9. Now we have to stand here for a sec and compare it to the heavy pulse that boasts a dismemberment chance of 0 0.6. So the revolver excluding special weapons is the king of dismemberment. It would make sense because if you are shot by a 357 slug in the leg, you're probably gonna lose a chunk of meat. So the revolver, having tested it, is a reliable tool. The problem with this kind of weapon in a game like this where the enemies move aggressively coming towards you is that 6 in the mag is really a very restrictive ammo profile. When 10 Xenos are on the map running towards you, taking pot shots at them with the revolver is not ideal for crowd management, but luckily and hopefully not all of your marines will have to fall back to a situation like this. I stand by the revolver being useful, but if you are gonna use a secondary to supplement the smart gun for example, I still wouldn't go ham on this because of the small clip. You can't build on this though because of its inherent dismemberment chance that's almost 1%. If you put dead eye in here, and used on a gunner that has added dismemberment because of his upgrades, you will be taking off some limbs. It has to be underlined that when you're looking at chances on any given subject, the bigger sample size you have, the bigger the chance of actually getting some results after you take your numbers out. So if you shoot six times and you have a 1% chance of dismembering something, you're probably not gonna see considered dismemberment. If you're shooting 20 times per second, then that number adds up and your chances improve. So don't expect this to take off legs and arms left and right all the time. But if you wanna have to fall back to a gun to at least have a good chance of surviving an encounter and you're low on ammo, this is at least viable. 
Then we move on to the submachine gun and here things start to get interesting. Damage of 1, 2 ammo for burst, burst duration of 0 0.6, 48 in the mag exactly like the drone, reload duration of 2 and dismemberment chance of 0 0.25. The same dismemberment chance and damage as the service pistol but twice the fire rate and of course a much larger clip. The SMG has been useful throughout my hard playthrough and I think it is very viable. The fact that you can use this without many restrictions and you can have it as a fallback weapon on your gunner to use the tripod if you want to gives you some versatility in the realm of secondaries. It is not going to substitute for any of the primary guns that has to be understood for this class of weapon in general but if you ask me and if you ask me if this is a good weapon a good alternative if you're running out of ammo or want to use some ability it is a very good choice some weapons in this game provide abilities that might render them unusable for any given amount of time so having something reliable to fall back to is usually a good idea Secondary weapons do not bring active abilities, so I'd have nothing of the sort to break down. But when it comes to either using them or forgetting about their existence altogether, I highly recommend you leave the service piece all out of the equation 100%. It's kind of useless and you're probably going to get chomped. Then you can use a revolver with specific approach to how you build your marine. Build on a secondary weapon of course is not optimal, but then again, if you have a gunner you're probably gonna get dead eye, so you can make use of the build either way. And the submachine gun is all in all a pretty efficient weapon. Granted that the primaries in Dark Descent are all very viable, there is no useless starting weapon in the game, well there's four of them all in all anyway the submachine gun can stand this ground and provide fire support whenever you run out of ammo or are dealing with other scenarios that's pretty much all i have for you not much to break down since we're not dealing with abilities as soon as you can get the smg research it and pretty much have it on every single one of your marines with the exception of the gunner maybe where you want the revolver but trust me people if you end up having to rely on the service pistol and you have a clear path to the apc just get the hell out of there and come back with some actual ammo Thank you very much for watching, sub, like, hit the notification bell for more content like this and until next time be well, stay frosty and always strive for perfection. Cheers!